Hi Pathway Explorers! We are here today to look at Landmark 8, focusing on nature-based crafting with children, ages two and a half to five. So doing artwork with children, especially at this age, in the early years, is not so much about the end product, it's about the process. It's about learning through the senses. The children are wide open through their senses. In the early years, teachers learn a lot about the four foundational senses, the sense of touch, the sense of balance, the sense of well-being, which is also called the sense of life, and the sense of movement. And instead of giving them fixed ways of how to move, like sliding down a slide, we give them a lot of organic uh, climbing, balancing opportunities through their play. So then through that, you're moving from gross motor and then you're focusing with the nature crafting that we do to more fine motor where the children be, becomes more tactile. So with the collecting and the picking and this, the smelling and, and all of this is very enlivening for their senses. Children at Rowan Tree love to make nature clay tiles. So I'm gonna start with the texture of this sage leaf and press it hard into the clay and the children are fascinated with the leaf print that's left behind. Another lovely way to make texture is to roll a pine cone over the clay. I love making patterns with the acorn top and I'm gonna press a pattern around the edge of the clay here. A really beautiful, simple way of helping the children tune in to the textures and patterning in nature. And another thing children absolutely love are dried uh, lavender flowers, cloves, which is really nice for Christmas crafting. And then of course you can go out and collect your own seeds. Here's a, a bunch of apple seeds. I think I'm going to press some of these in. Add one or two of the glass gems as well. Sometimes a feather is a beautiful thing to add. There you go, it's as simple as that. I mean, you're really looking for colors and smells and textures, clay loose parts that you've collected from nature. Now let's try making a nature leaf kite. The children love to go out on our nature hikes and of course they're finding lots of sticks along the way. And then we go and find clusters of leaves or one giant catalpa leaf even. You know, whatever we can find to make a bit of a kite effect on, on our stick. You can also cut out animal shapes and you tie it to the string which is attached to your stick. So we're trying to make this as blowy and dynamic as we can to catch the wind. It's so empowering for a child to be able to run with their kites. And then you can look at asking the children which way the wind is blowing. So now I would like to make some magic herb pouches with you. I've just been out in the garden and we have just taken little snippets of a lot of the herbs that we found in our garden. Children love to come together. I give them scissors and they gather around a big wooden bowl and they start to snip all of the herbs that they've collected in the garden. They absolutely love it. It just turns into this big sense experience of uh, smell and texture and color. and. Then you can find these transparent sacks or pouches, and these can go under the children's pillow at night or carry it in their pocket to make them feel calmer or make them feel happy. So I encourage you to try it at home or try it in your classroom. All right, I would like to show you how to make uh, corn husk dolls. Very often at Rowan Tree, the teachers make the corn husk dolls and then the children get to dress them and add accents and personality to their corn husk dolls. And then they love to play with them and make their own stories up. I have made a corn husk doll making the head first and then adding the arms. And then he or she is ready for the clothes. And this is where the children can get really creative and have a lot of fun. You can use felt to make your clothes. When it's wet, the corn husk actually ties up nicely and even knots up nicely. So then you might add a beautiful crown to your corn husk doll. You can make an accessory like a little acorn necklace and put that over the head of your corn husk doll, which I'm gonna do here. And the sky's the limit. 
there you go. And these are very sturdy dolls. They will be perfect this fall. And the children are encouraged to make up their own stories. And this little corn husk person might turn into a boy or a girl or a mother or a father or a carpenter or a farmer. These are all the themes that the children like to uh, weave through their stories. Well, thank you for joining me. It's been a pleasure to share my ideas with you. And see you next time, Pathway Explorers. Mm -hmm.